And so this concludes my presentation of the browser-based version of the data visualization software RAW, or as they call it, the missing link between spreadsheets and vector graphics. I hope you've been able to tell from this that RAW really is a wonderful way to get started with data visualization. We get to use data sets, we can paste in our own or we can use theirs. We have a lot of options that we can use, but there are only so many built-in visualizations. And what you find also is that when you select them, you don't have a lot of options for controlling, but it's not too many. It's still enough to give you some creativity. But what you might wanna find is that if you wanna overcome some of the limitations, then you can get the GitHub version of RAW. I'll just click on that fork me on GitHub. And if you want to get really hands on, you have the option of installing this. And then it's going to give you a lot more control over the elements in raw, mostly by drawing on the d3.js library. Or you can use raw as a jumping off point for other data visualization programs and languages like d3.js on which raw is based or processing from processing.org or Google Charts or Tableau, all of which have their own strengths and uses. But I encourage you to take a little time and to see what you can do with RAW and to see how you can get new insight into your data and then start exploring other options to see how creatively you can work with your data and how deep your own insight can be.